Ang triangle offense ay isa sa mga pinakakomplikadong opensa sa basketball. Proven and tested na kaya nitong magpanalo ng championships. Pero effective pa ba ito sa panahon ngayon ng spacing at 3-point shooting? Kaya sa video nito, aalamin natin ang ins and outs ng triangle offense, ibe-breakdown natin, at titignan natin kung effective pa ba ito ngayon. The triangle offense was developed by the late great Tex Winter. Nakuha niya yung basics from his former coach na si Sam Barry. And then fast forward to the 1980s, Tex Winter alongside Phil Jackson were both assistant coaches para sa Chicago Bulls. Then later on, Phil Jackson coached the Chicago Bulls and the LA Lakers using the triangle offense and won them multiple championships. The triangle offense promotes positionless basketball. Kasi isa sa mga main features nito ay ang pagkakaroon ng continuity which means from side to side pwede ka magbuo ng sideline triangle. At saka pinopromote nito ang ball movement, player movement kaysa sa dribble drive at pagtambay sa corner. With player movement, ang triangle offense ay kaya mag-provide ng multiple options kada action. Kaya malaking bagay na meron kang high IQ at multi-skilled players. In theory, meron kang 32 possible options every play. Kaya kung mapapansin mo, palaging may versatile playmaking big sa mga triangle teams such as Lamar Odom, Horace Grant, Joe Devans, Mark Pingris, this goes on. Pero merong mga common na problema sa pagtakbo ng triangle offense such as spacing, lack of 3-point opportunities at isama mo pa na pwede ang zone defense sa PBA. Isa na rin doon ang learning curve. Dahil kapag hindi ka familiar, mahirap sundan ng triangle offense lalo na sa timing. Here's coach Tim Cohn talking about the learning curve of the triangle offense. But the, the difficulty in the triangle is that you have to remember every player has to be able to run in every position in the triangle. So you can be the top, the post, the weak side wing, corner, or the strong side wing. And uh, um, he has to learn it from all those situations. So you have to do a lot of whole method in terms of five on five we have what we call a scramble drill coach tim cone one of the best if not the best coach in the pba coach tim is a triangle purist as early as 1992 tinatakbo niya na ang triangle offense with his past teams makikita mo na pure triangle ang tinatakbo nila b meg also ran it perfectly kaya naman di ba grants lang teams ang alaska at pati ang san big coffee dati in the case of Hinebra, of course, palaging may learning curve. Pero kasi the timing is weird. Sumaba yung pagkauso ng 3-point shot at spacing sa pag-install ng triangle sa Hinebra. But it doesn't mean na they will not be successful running it. Pero makikita mo yung potential ng team kahit na sa unang conference pa lang nila ay nandun kahit na basic triangle actions lang. Here's a clip from our podcast talking about the triangle offense. Diba? Wing, Lahat ng inefficient elbow. areas na dinidefine ng mga NBA statistician, yun yung mga shots na makukuha mo sa triangle. Elbow. Kung, kung itatakbo mo yung... Or kung paano natin kilala yung triangle. Diba? Hmm. Pero nanonood ka ng Lakers, puro corner three. Ah. Diba? Pero in, in terms of volume, hindi kasi yun yung hinahanap nila. Hindi mo naman nakita yung triangle na maglaro sa ira talaga ngayon. Eh. Nagsisimula ang triangle offense sa two-guard front. Ganito ang formation, at least 15 feet apart. Sideline triangle sa isang side, then two-man game, pinch post sa kabila. The first action is a pass to the wing and the corner field. Ang susunod na action ay either two pass to the post, two pass to the top, or two pass to the corner. But in this example, two pass to the post. Pagkatapos ng entry pass, magi speed cut itong dalawa while the weak side pinch post is going to go down sa paint and then screen sa by pop out sa elbow but in Hinebra's case, ginawa nilang back screen to make Brownlee open for a possible lock pass. Another option is a two pass to the top for a rebound screen cut. Yung pumasa sa gitna, must set a down screen for the corner guy for a pass. Pwede then after ng 2 pass to the top ay diretso pinch post action or in Hinebra's case, a 2-man game.
and if all passes are denied, yung player sa elbow ay dapat mag-flash cut para sa 3 pass and a backdoor step play with the front cutting hard to the basket. At yan yung mga basic and common actions sa triangle offense. There are more actions sa triangle offense pero for a brief understanding, yan ang basics. Hinebra today is not using the pure triangle. Pasundot-sundot na lang sila. Hindi katulad ng mga 2015 to 2016 season na talagang pure triangle. Here's Coach Tim Cohn in the Hoop Coaches International Seminar talking about moving away from the triangle offense. Uh, it, it, it calls for more penetration, more dribble penetration, more cutting to the cut, to the paint. It's, it's more spread out. And so we felt that we had to kind of spread out our offense a little bit more. Um, and so, you know, we, we tried to do that with the triangle. Uh, and we found it difficult to do it um, in the way that we want to do it. So then we started making little adjustments here and there. And that's how we evolved to where we are now. Ngayon, gumagamit sila ng triangle principle sa kanilang mga set. With one side being the sideline triangle and the other side being the two-man game. That used to be the pinch post action, pero ginawa nilang general two-man game kasi pwede mo yan lagi integrate sa motions mo eh. As you can see, yung first action is an overfill na nagiging dribble handoff sa elbow. And then merong triangle sa isang side and then yung weak side is a two-man game. Then after ng dribble handoff, Nagiging points formation. Sa play naman na to, it's not a like triangle, but the principles are there. Two pass to the corner, tapos speed cut, then instead of the typical corner pick and roll, ginawa nilang isolation kay Brownlee sa elbow. Ang pinakagusto ko is yung pinch post action. Ginawa nilang general two-man play. As you can see, the roles are reversed as Japet is in front and Pringle is in the wing kaysa sa elbow and the sideline triangle on the other side is still somehow initiated so yung problema na wala daw spacing or pick and roll opportunities for Pringle ay nasolusyonan na nila with that it's more efficient and low risk kasi pwede ka naman mag ball reversal into the sideline triangle or sa rebound screen cut kapag walang napuntahan to be clear in those clips they're not really running the triangle Pero ang gusto ko sabihin ay yung principles ng triangle ay nagagamit pa rin nila sa mga ibang set nila. Okay. One common misconception is that the triangle is a set play. But it's really more of a system and set of principles that you follow. And the triangle offense doesn't force you to run it in a linear way. Kasi you can initiate it with four different passes na pwede mag-branch out sa iba pang actions. Kasi more on read and react siya. And with Hinebra, dahil sanay na sanay na sila sa triangle, ginagamit nila yung 2 pass to the top pinch post action as a 2 man action, which offers different options such as pick and roll, pick and pop, DHO, and isolation for Pringle. Triangle is still alive and effective, but some coaches only use principles rather than full on pure triangle. For example, si Steve Kerr. Ako, based sa mga observations ko kasi, buhay pa rin ang triangle. Pero makikita mo na lang yung mga principles, hindi na yung pure text winter triangle. But the reality is, basketball is an evolving game. Pero yan yung major point ng triangle. Isa siyang innovative offense for the time being, especially noong 1960s. Pero if the main point is innovation, sa tingin ko, it still serves its purpose kahit na certain principles lang ang nagagamit na yun. Kung titignan mo sa surface area, madaling sabihin kung effective pa ba ang triangle sa basketball ngayon. Pero kung mag step back ka at titignan mo in a macro perspective, marami factors na papasok. Gaano ka well-crafted ang team mo? Fit ba ang mga players sa specific roles? Paano i-execute ang system? Fast-paced or deliberate? May rason kung bakit nag-move away si Team Cone at ang Hinebra sa triangle offense. Pero para sagutin yung tanong kung effective pa ba ito, kailangan muna nating makita ito in action and with longevity para makapagbigay tayo ng proper judgment. Oh!